hi guys hi guys welcome to my channel i guess i'm gonna call this a mini vlog this is like the very first time i'm doing this but i really needed to give you guys an update on what's been happening with me why i've been missing and i haven't shared any kind of content in this channel for a while now it's been a lot um the behind the scenes story has been very very traumatic um um i and my family are going through a terrible time right now and i just felt like i needed to share some of my behind the scene moments so you probably understand how the magnitude of the things that i'm going through um you all know that here is my safe space this is where i talk about my troubles my worries I rant about anything I want to rant about and I just felt like I needed to give you guys a hint on why I'm missing and um, a lot more. Um, so the back end story is my dad actually um, unfortunately got into a ghastly auto crash that left him and three of his other friends um, in a very very terrible state. Um, he's got some, he's got a broken neck, um, broken shoulder, broken arm. Um, head injuries very traumatic um, at the moment he really is his memory is really bad he doesn't recognize a lot of us he hallucinates because of the drugs his heavy drugs is on um, our pockets are completely empty um, he's had multiple surgeries um, but in the long run I'm still grateful I've broken down a couple of times I've raised myself up and it's been a lot it's been a lot and i just felt like i needed to share with you all so you really know um, how like why i'm missing um so yeah i felt like i needed to give you guys this and so stick with me um this is like the most vulnerable moment in my life right now and i i think i applaud myself for even being bold enough to want to share um, but I believe in document, documenting my experiences and keeping my memories. And I felt like just saving it up here um, is like the best thing to do. And that's why I'm sharing. Yeah. Just pray. Just pray. It's gonna be fine. At this point, I truly need to breathe in so I could breathe out a little more. You know, there's so much going on in my life right now. There's so much going on. And guys, I'm here to give you um, an update on what's been happening in my life. I've been sleeping at the hospital bed myself. Okay, this channel update is long overdue. Wow, the past few days, weeks, months has been hell. Thank God. I know it will get better. And I'm here to tell you guys some of the things that has been happening in my personal journey. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I feel like crying and sometimes I feel like laughing. I'm just at that mixed state where I don't even know what to do with myself, but just to be happy and grateful at the same time. Okay, guys, at this point, I think we need to do a breathing in exercise because I need to calm down um, to be able to tell you guys some of the things that I want to tell you. I have some good stories. I have some bad news. Um, but um, in all, I'm still grateful. I'm still happy. Um, yeah, so guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. Welcome back to my space. I'm super excited, you know, to be able to actually talk to you guys today. A lot has been happening in my life. If you've checked, if you've been checking, looking out for my content, you probably wouldn't have seen any of my content lately in this channel. I've been going through a lot of trauma. You guys know that I have a medical history already with head traumas. And there's been so much stressors in my life right now. Um, there's so much. I've been going through a lot of family challenges. Um, so my dad literally had a ghastly motor accident, auto crash that almost left him for the dead. 
it's been traumatic guys i i've literally been you know moving around going to the hospital back i mean everything has changed life has changed like it's been so difficult breathing it's been so difficult watching him go through pain it's been it's been really difficult um and i don't know i've been missing you guys so much that i really wanted to do this for a long time but it's just been very difficult it's been very difficult you know sometimes i just want to break down but then you know we just need to look at the positive side of life so guys in this video i mean okay enough of me feeling sorry about myself i'm just going to be giving you guys a lot a quick um channel update on the things that are going to be happening in this channel and of course the future content that we're going to be seeing very soon um of course you guys know that some reality shows have just wrapped up um and some are going to be starting up you guys know that the lion's den has wrapped up it's wrapped up over a week now or maybe two weeks now and unfortunately i've not been able to actually upload all the content um on the lion's den i sincerely want to apologize for that i sincerely want to apologize to all the entrepreneurs all the brands all the people that have been sending me messages trying to contact me you know i've literally not been okay i mean i've not been in a very balanced mental state so i really want to apologize i'm definitely going to be posting all the lands then video no matter how late it comes i'm definitely going to be doing that i have all the videos all recorded all i need to do is just edit them and throw them in this channel i'll definitely do that um i'm definitely going to be interviewing some of the lions Den entrepreneurs a lot of them has been reaching out to me i'm going to be reaching out to some of them too because i really feel like we need to talk about some of the businesses there you know um big brother show is coming up guys big brother show is coming up and you know that's the good news the good news is that we have a reality show that is coming up one of the nigerians favorite reality shows big brother show i'm so happy i'm um, so many things happened in the dstv the old housemates were seen like doing their passing out parade like i would call it you know so we're waiting to usher in the new set of guys it will be definitely a fun um um of course this is like i'm going to be doing videos of the Bye bye to the Zanzi, my housemates, because I'm not gonna be talking about Bibi and Zanzi anymore. It's not Bibi Ninja, guys. So I'm switching. You guys, my Bibi and Zanzi um, fans, followers, subscribers, please make sure you stick around this channel because you guys know I have it covered um, with the things I'm gonna be sharing. Guys, I really have a lot of things I really want to talk about. I want to share. I definitely will be sharing that. So, uh, apart from my fam personal family challenge and all that, you know, that's literally bad news, guys. Um, I also have another bad news. So, unfortunately, I've just been served a quick notice to um to my apartment i've been told to leave and this actually happened i got that notice like um a month ago and they actually backdated the time i'm supposed to have left to three months in advance so i was told a month i was told two months <laughs> to the time i was supposed to quit so i was I literally given the quit notice just a month ago and I would not lie to you guys. I'm devastated. Getting this apartment was very stressful. You guys, I actually have um, a video I shared earlier where I was sharing about like how Lagos house hunt. Living in Lagos is hell. And then Lagos house hunt is hell. And guys, going through the family challenges, the crisis I've been going through, my father's health, you know, even at the moment, um, it's been very bad, you know. Sometimes I feel like crying. But I just have to be strong. So it's been really challenging. And then now, guys, I don't have a place at the moment. And it's so difficult to get a house in Lagos. It's so expensive. I feel like crying right now. And I don't know how you guys will feel if I cry. But it's so much for me. So, you know. I think one of the most insensitive things that happens to us as people is that um, we have a lot of selfish people like, you know, leaders and all that. You know, I was literally, um, you know, I was supposed to pay my bills like just because I was just a month late into paying my my rent, you know, because I was going through a lot. I was going to the hospital. I didn't have time to make transfers. I was spending the money I had paying for my father's bills. And it was just a shock for me to hear that, you know what, I, I'm, and then I called to get the account number where I was supposed to be paying for my rent. And then the next thing I heard is, no, you can't, you can't, we can't renew your rent. And I was like, why? And they said, okay, you know what, um, the apartment you got is a, th your third party 
um, person. So literally, guys, um, the story behind my apartment is I got my apartment from a friend who was relocating to Canada. And, you know, so he forced me to buy all his furniture, even though that was very, very stressful. But I had to I actually got all that. You know, I paid. I, you know, like I did a lot of things. I did a lot of work in that in that apartment, even though it was just small. It was just like something budget friendly for me at the moment. And I was really excited when I got the apartment. You know, I touched it up. I got this very creative space, very small. This is the smallest part in the house. I probably would show you guys back in like the full you know what the space looks like it's just like the small it's just a corner and i just created it as my youtube space and then now guys i need to start thinking of how to get another apartment i need to start thinking about how to move how to redesign how to create like it's just been a lot for me and i'm just hoping and praying that i get um i like i get help from a uh, divine help <laughs> from people like i don't know i just feel like i need favor right now and i'm just hoping it will be because it's really really stressful i'm I, and I'm, I'm really praying that when i leave here i'm gonna be getting something better than this it was really a shock to get that quick notice like i, I literally i couldn't believe my eyes when i was told that no we can't accept your money we want you out of the apartment and it, the reason doesn't just make sense it doesn't make sense even though i had agreed that i was willing to pay for the new agreement, the new um, tenancy agreement, even the agency fee. I was already willing to do all that, but I mean, anyways, apartments have, the, there's been an increase in apartments. I feel like um, the owner of the apartment wants to increase the rent or something. I mean, whatever, Asha. It's just been very, 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 like I've been feeling very, very down. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just very hopeful and guys there's so much i'm still going to do you guys i'm definitely this is not going to stop me from doing reviews of the big brother ninja um i don't know how i'm going to do that because i'm just trying to see if i can move you know the time i was i was given is already elapsed i was supposed to leave this apartment on the 14th of july you know even though i got that notice like maybe three weeks back i just don't want trouble um if i want to drag it i will drag it but i just feel like you know i don't need any bad negative energy around me um, so I'm just, I just got into my apartment after like, maybe I've been away here for like two weeks, you know, trying to help out, you know, help my mom. She's been, you know, she's hypertensive dealing with my father. It's been a whole lot. It's been a whole lot, you know, he's literally, um, um, he was bedridden for some days. He was in trauma. He was in coma. He's out. He has some broken arms. So he, he actually had this gastric accident where the driver was inexperienced and then they had this tire problem and the guy had to step on the brake and the customer sorted a couple of times so he literally broke his neck you know you know in the whole thing the airbags didn't come off until the whole thing had happened and you know he, he had the worst injuries um medically we've spent all our life savings you know trying to get him he was i mean it's been it's it's been 32 days i've been struggling to help you know and I, I just know I just I know I'm talking too much about my problems but you know sometimes you know one of the reasons why I started this channel is because I want to blab in front of the camera and I feel like I have this shooting it kind of helps me feel better when I share my problems even though if nobody watches it I'm, I just got to watch it myself and just feel happy that I, I can release um so yeah it's been very hard but I'm very positive that things will really shape out so i'm just going to make sure that all my lands then um viewers you guys i'm sorry i know you guys are disappointed that i've not shared the videos even before now it was so much work to like shoot it because i was always on the run i'm very sorry but definitely you guys are gonna get so there are so many things um in this channel also i have also launched my community in this channel i hope i'm hopefully gonna be starting live sessions and of course i have i have an entrepreneur who i'm going to be featuring i think the first entrepreneur i'm going to be featuring is a nighton guy um tony um yes he has one of the most um he was he has one of the hottest lashing <laughs> in the den so i'm definitely gonna be talking with him there's so much i want to talk about in this channel i'm super happy um yeah even though i know there's so many bad news around my life I, i'm just very positive i know things are going to be turning around for good you guys send your prayers if you can 
wish me well if you can support me by following the channel if you can in fact financially right now i don't even mind i'm gonna share i can share my card details i like i can share my uh, um, account details right now because i feel like gosh life without support having a great support group is it could be terrible like literally i'm just at the bottom <laughs> of everything right now but i'm just being very hopeful um so you guys just of course we're gonna be talking about and then guys i'm launching my very first online course um which i've called decoding arts and decoding arts is literally um me sharing my experience um using um my new journey in um finding a niche for myself how i was able to start um doing something that i love to do and how um it's actually not yet paying my bills but it's keeping me going even in my mental space and how it's actually going to pay my bills and do much more so um decoding art is definitely for anybody who's trying to understand um their brand messages trying to understand how what it means to understand their story to create like a channel you know in, a, in an idea that they have or they're not sure it will work um so yeah i'm teaching what it means to start a youtube channel to to start any channel um with what you think about what you have as a thought and you want to put it into practice so i'm definitely gonna be teaching a lot i'm talking about digital art and decoding arts it's literally gonna be an art of reasoning master class and if you want to be a part of it you definitely um, should be in my inner circle um if you are a youtube subscriber you have extra privileges because every single month i'm going to be dropping three special videos um there's going to be a three days master class that i'm going to be giving um that i'm just going to share the things that has helped me work on my mindset work on my money and my mantra and how i've been able to create a balance in my crazy life <laughs> so guys i really would look forward to seeing you guys on the other side and of course hopefully bear with me you're going to be seeing so much content in this channel we're not stopping we're still moving and thank you so much for being here with me always um peace and love guys so i see you next time i've been I'm, I'm, i feel honored that you guys are here with me send me the love i want to read from you i really need to read something nice to be able to keep myself sane at this point because it's been a lot um, i've been really struggling with a lot and i just feel happy that i'm sharing this with you even though it's kind of emotional but yeah i'm happy um because i think this is the only place i share things <laughs> I'm so comfortable sharing my story um, with you guys, even though I know some people don't listen to it. But yeah, um, there's so much coming up in this channel. And guys, thank you so much. Till I see you next time. It's still Julie keeping it real.